Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com and GravesideEntertainment.com. Um, today I wanted to talk about something that has been bothering me a little bit, and I don't normally get into personal stuff or opinions in terms of politics, religion, uh, you know, things that, that can be kind of touchy with people. I have my own opinions, of course, on all of it, but I'd rather not share them because I'm not, you know, this, this YouTube channel is just for fun. I do this to meet some cool people, which I have, I've met many cool people, and to BS back and forth about games and movies and music and things that we like. It's just for fun. I'm not looking to uh, have wars with people over opinions and have big critiques and back and forths. So um, if I don't answer many of the comments below or if, if you know you start getting angry with me or whatever, it's your own opinion. I'm just not really going to gonna feed into your, your stuff. So. One of the main topics that I've been thinking about lately, and I think is extremely blown out of proportion, is violence in video games. So I'm sure you kind of see this everywhere now in the news and all, all this bad stuff happening. I mean, it's horrific. You had Columbine years ago, you had the moron in the movie theaters pretty recently who shot the guys up in the Batman theater. You had now this, this new guy who, uh, well, you had the guy who shot the senator or, or whatever, or politician in the face. Then you have this uh, new guy who takes out, you know, kids in the school. It's, just, it's horrific. It's horrible. I don't actually even like talking about it. It's just really bad. So, the first thing everyone does, in in terms of something bad like this happening, is everyone likes to to come up with the scapegoat or push the blame. You know, it's not the parents. It's not. Um, and if you don't like my opinion, I'm sorry. I really can't help. You know, I'm not gonna. Like I said, I'm not gonna argue with you. Um, it's not. It's not the parents. It's not this. It's not that. I, and I'm not talking about the specific thing with Sandy Hook. I'm, I'm just referring to in general. Uh, I'm generalizing. Um, violence in video games, for instance. I was raised on video games. I've been when I was five years old. I had a Nintendo. My grandparents had a Nintendo. I played Atari. All this crap. Um, it, it depends. If you there you go. If you um, expect a video game to babysit your fucking child and influence it in a positive manner, you're wrong. I'm not saying that it can't. I'm not saying if you put a educational game in front of them, that's fine. What I'm saying is parents don't want to watch, reinforce, and teach their children manners, respect. Everyone feels, in my opinion, everyone feels fucking entitled. Like, oh, well, my kid could do what they want. They're special. Okay, no. Your kid's not fucking special, all right? Every child is, is the same, and it's the parents' fault if they treat their children in a certain way or expose them to certain things, and then the child turns out to be an asshole. Okay, that's not my fault. I don't have children, so you can look at me as some kind of idiot and say, well, he doesn't have kids. What's Mike talking about? And that's fine. That's your opinion. You could say whatever you want, but, and I don't. I don't have kids. And you know why? Because I don't want to have children. Because I don't want my children playing with other people's children, especially when all the children now, or a lot of them, not all, I take that back, a lot of the children are just jerks, because their parents are jerks. Um, so, video games are not made to babysit your children. Would you sit your child down in front of a Quentin Tarantino film, okay, and if you don't know Quentin Tarantino, you know he's a violent you know, director and movie maker, would you put Reservoir Dogs of Pulp Fiction on and say, here you go, little Jimmy. Sit here and watch this. Probably not. You know, there's blood, there's violence, there's cursing, there's sex, there's nudity. Would you do that? Would you put on some crap like that? Probably not. So why would you go to a store and buy, for instance, Mortal Kombat, Call of Duty, um, anything? It's There's a rating system on music, there's a rating system on video games for a reason. That was put there because people like you, or people like these people that I'm referring to, when I say you, I don't mean you directly, because um, most people that watch this I, I get along great with, that was implemented for people who, who had a problem with the game being violent. And that's fine. It's a form of entertainment. You wouldn't put on death metal for most children, or, I don't know, something that talks about, let's just say for instance, I don't like them, but Insane Clown Posse. They get a little out there. Is it funny? Is it humorous? Does it have... You know, things that are, that are amusing, yeah. I listen to death metal, I listen to all kinds of music. I listen to death metal, I listen to Motown, I listen to soul. I listen to rap, I listen to rock, I listen to everything. 
but would I let my four-year-old child sit down and listen to Dimu Borga or uh, Hypocrisy? It might be a little too angry for a kid. When they're 18 or 17 or 16, if they want to sit down and listen to it, and I feel they have their wits about them, and they can, they can like watch a Tarantino flick, for instance, and not be impressionable about it, or realize this is not real, this is fake. This is a okay, Stella. This is a movie, you know. And people need to need to be able to se separate that. So instead of blaming all these parents that let their kids sit down and watch this crap, or buy their kids stuff that. Then they go, well, I didn't know it was in this video game. What do you mean you didn't know? That's your job as a parent, to protect them. To look at the front of it and say, okay, it says teen and this kid's five. It says mature and this kid's five. Um, I'm not going to let him watch an NC-17 movie because he's seven. I mean, wh where where does the buck stop? I'm not saying that the, the influences out in the world are, are always good. They're not. Like I said, you're going to see movies, they're gonna, you're going to hear words. It's going to happen. But when you blame everything on video games, it's just ignorant. It's a form of entertainment like movies, like music, like anything else. If you don't like it, don't listen to it. Don't watch it. Don't buy it. Don't read it. It's your prerogative. I don't care. I don't care what you do in your life as long as it doesn't affect me. And that may sound selfish, but this is another thing. People can do what they want. If you want to smoke crack and sit in your basement, I don't care. Are you hurting someone? Yeah, you're hurting yourself. If you're hurting, I mean, you're hurting your family, you, it's a bad thing. I don't want you to do it, but it's your life. If you're straight, if you're gay, if you're this, if you're that, I don't care. What you do in your bedroom is your own opinion. So what you do with your kids is your own opinion. But then keep in mind that then to go turn around and say, well, I didn't know it was in this game. I didn't know it was in this movie. And I'm sorry if this, if this video is coming off a little angry. I'm annoyed. I was at a, a, a luncheon for my job. And, you know, we suit and ties and whatever. It's pretty, pretty, uh... It's not casual, it's not like a casual job, like a walk in with a t-shirt and jeans on. So I go up and there's a boss standing there and talking to another boss, not my boss, but in, uh, from another department. And they say, well, you know, all these violent video games, kids should play these violent video games. It's like, yes, kids shouldn't play these violent video games. If the kid is 13, 14, 15, and you feel your child is mature enough to play a violent game and not take it to heart and not make it desensitize them, then... Okay, that's your prerogative as a parent. My parents let me play violent games when I was a kid, but I think they knew where the line was. They knew not to let me watch, uh, I can't think of anything violent. I'm just kidding, for instance, the movie Chopper or Reservoir Dogs or, you know, something with blood and, and death. Okay, maybe they, they kept me away from that when I was a kid. And that was their opinion. Okay, Mike's not ready for this. Give him a few more years. When they knew I was ready, let me watch it. Is a kid that's gonna gonna sit there and play games 24 hours a day or watch violent movies 24 hours a day gonna be affected? Yeah, probably a little bit. They're probably gonna be a little desensitized. They're probably, you know, there's 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 a little bit of blame there. But who's the buck stop at? You. You don't want your kids to play that game. You don't know what's in it. Then don't let them play it. Well, they're gonna find it some way. Okay, they're gonna go to their friend's house and watch it or borrow it or whatever. But that's your job as a parent. That's not the video game industry's job. That's not the movie industry's job. They're there to entertain. Just like, for instance, I've never been to a strip club, but a stripper. They're there to entertain you. You don't like it, don't go. It's not my bag, so I don't go. It's my opinion. If you don't want your kid to go to a fucking strip club, you don't want, then don't let them go. You wouldn't let them go, would you? So, I'm looking to the right because I wrote some more things down. Um, the other thing is, this is a little bit of a rant. I didn't have a phone until I was 18. Um, I earned all my money. I've had a job since I was like 12 or 13, off the books, working at delis. All these kids now, now maybe maybe now it's changed a little bit to where kids can't work at 13 years old. That's fine. I understand. You know, you need to things, do things on the up and up on the books. I get it. But these kids are like 10 years old with cell phones, smartphones. They're crying and bitching because they're not getting iPhones and iPads. Why the fuck does everyone feel so entitled? Make them have an allowance, make them work, whatever it is. I mean, you're the parent, I'm not. Think of ways to make them earn it. Why do all these kids think that all this shit should just be coming to them? Then they get older, they turn into these moron adults where everything should be handed to them and the world owes them a living. And that's my problem. Put in the hard work, show these kids that to, to earn things, they have to work for them, and it goes hand in hand. Same thing with violent video games, same thing with video games in general. You're going to well, go every week and buy them a game. Okay, that's your job as a parent. You do what you want. It's your opinion. I don't care what you do with your kids. 
but they don't complain that the kids playing violent video games. You bought it for them. I had, I had for instance, a um, a person, I have a friend, a close friend who works at GameStop. I worked at GameStop years ago. I can't tell you how many times when I was a teenager and I worked at GameStop, people would come in and be like, oh, I'll buy this, and the kid would be flipping out all happy, and it would be something that, you know, pretty violent, Grand Theft Auto, let's say, and the parent wouldn't care. So why should I care? What, then you're going to then later come back and say, well, this was really violent, why didn't you tell me? I did tell you, and it says mature on the package. If you don't like it, don't buy it. That's pretty much what this video is about. Um, let's see, let's see. I mean, movies, games, the internet, comic books, books in general, all of it's got violence and sex and mature content. It's for people that are mature and can deal with it. If you feel your child is mature enough, then okay. If you don't, then you don't, don't do it. It's not, the TV is not a babysitter for your kid. Sometimes it can be, you put on like Dora the Explorer or something educational. I don't know what kids watch, Sesame Street, whatever. If, if it's not educational or you don't feel it's good for your child, don't let them watch it. I mean, why sit them down and pop them out in front of a video game because it's easy, but the, the violence on the game is upsetting you that your six-year-old is playing Call of Duty. So don't let them play it. Buy them something a little more age-oriented, like Rayman or, um, I don't know, some Mario Brothers game. Um, I mean, I, I think impressionable people or people with mental issues, children, are going to have problems deciphering the difference or maybe getting desensitized towards games and movies and other things they read and look at. And it's your job as a parent to enforce that. You're the parent, you're the guardian, you're the figure that's supposed to protect them and be there for them and help them through life, but also be hard on them and make them want to work and and become something, not sit in their parents' basement their whole life and never do anything with their lives and not amount to what you know they can amount to because they are intelligent, functional human beings most of the time. So, again, I apologize for all of this. I don't have children. I have a cat. We have, you know, cousins, little cousins and stuff. So maybe you feel I can't weigh on it, and that's fine. If you want to bash me, I don't care. But you can't put the blame on media, on video games. I mean, on media, you can, like NBC and CNN and Fox. Yeah, that you can put the blame on. But that's, I'm just joking. It, it's, um, that's kind of tongue-in-cheek. Um, even though they just show you what they want to show you, but that's beyond this. Um, it's not Quentin Tarantino's job to raise your kids. It's not, um, you know... Fucking THQ and Acclaim, well, Acclaim's out of business, you know, EA, to raise your, ch your children. Let them play a basketball game. Let them play something you know is safe. If you don't want them to play something violent, don't let them. If you don't want them to watch something violent, don't let them. They're kids. You're the one in charge. Then something, God forbid, happens like these idiots that are shooting up children in schools and random people, and then the first thing they do is run to, well, they play Doom, and they play Quick, and they play Call of Duty. I mean, it's not the game's fault. It's your job as a parent to monitor them. So this is just my two cents. Hopefully people agree with me. I mean, I think, what's next? Are they going to govern? Well, we can't have violent games. Okay, so violent games are out. Then we can't have video games at all. I mean, in New York, where I am, now they're saying we can't have certain size sodas. Like, what's next? Well, we can't have violent movies? What, what does this become? Like, I thought America was supposed to be the land of the free. It sounds like some sort of... I don't know, socialist or communist regime to me at this point, or it's getting there. What what else are you going to enforce on us? So you're going to ruin video games for everyone? So I'm not going to be able to play my games that I want to play, enjoy, because your kid's an idiot? So I just think it's kind of unfair. It's just my two cents. If you don't like it, like I said, feel free to chime in. I may listen or I may not. Um, thank you for watching. I just wanted to vent. I'm just sick of people putting the blame on everything else but themselves and their own children. So... Thank you for watching. It's Vampire Mike from SegaCityUniverse.com and GravesideEntertainment.com. Um, I'm most likely not going to do any more videos like this. This is just something I wanted to talk about because it dealt with video games and violence. So um, my heart goes out to all these people that have been affected with all these tragedies and these horrific events. I'm not downplaying it by any means, shape, or form. Um, so my heart goes out to you and your families. Take care, guys.